Hello everyone, Lance Bell here to Lance Bell Presents Show. Today's date is New Year's Eve, December the 31st, 2012. I'm your host, Lance Bell. You can always visit me at realdealpolitics.net or my Facebook page at Real Deal Politics. Just remember when you do a search, look for the ballot box. Box. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you saw me on my Facebook page today, I, I had said that I was going to do a show tomorrow, but I decided to do a show today, and here's the reason why. After watching that press conference with President Obama today, I had some big-time issues. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you didn't watch that press conference, here's basically what he said. Now, obviously he's going to say the deal's in the works. You've probably seen that on the news by now. Now, as of this taping, there was no deal as of yet. But here's what he said. He said a deal will be done in stages. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is huge. And here's the reason why. Now, I've said, and I've said this before in the past, and I've said it recently, and I'll continue to say this. Congress will always do a deal either late at night or in the middle of the night when nobody's paying attention. The next morning, you're going to wake up, and they'll always say that, well, this was good for the country. Stop the madness. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is way too serious. And watching that press conference today, if you get a chance to see it, it looks more like a election prep rally than it is a serious press conference. But that being said, here's what he said. He basically said that this deal's going to be done in stages. Now, what did that mean for you? Here's what it means. It means that, okay, there will probably be some type of deal done. But here's the thing. Being in stages, he's going to... You're setting yourself up for something real big down the road. And I'm talking about the debt ceiling. That's coming right back up. And they're going to throw it right back in his face when that goes down. And it should never have gone down this way. The reason why I say this is because a deal should have been done a year and a half ago. And everybody knows it. You know it. I know it. Everybody knows it. Take part, the partisan crap out of the equation altogether. Now, with that being said, we don't know yet what might happen. But I have a good idea. Here's what's going to happen. The Republicans in Congress right now is not going to hold over his head. They're going to threaten the government shutdown. Now, ladies and gentlemen, they've been down this road before. If you remember correctly, back in the mid-90s, they shut the government down twice. And it paved the way for Bill Clinton's re-election. My thing is this, just get a deal done and stop playing the garbage what's going on right now. And everybody knows that. You know it, I know it. You don't need to be a pundit via real or armchair or otherwise. And everybody knows what I'm talking about. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I know what I'm, I'm really fired up right now. But there's some other miscellaneous news going on right now as far as politics. Now, ladies and gentlemen... Here in Ohio, something local is going on. I want to talk about it. And that's Representative Steve LaTourette. Now, the representative from Bainbridge, who's leaving Congress after the session, was on, did an interview with um, Stephanie Warsmith, the Akron Beacon Journal. And, there's, and I don't really do local politics on an international show, but I'm bringing this up. Now, here in the article that states, now, obviously leaving Congress because he got sick and tired of the partisan BS that's going on. And I totally respect that. He's a moderate Republican. He really tried for compromise and get things done. But in the article, here's what I want to talk about. I'm going to look down at the monitor for a moment. It says here, and I'm going to read this paragraph per verbatim. It says, La Tourette had been a board member of the Main Street Partnership's Political Action Committee for five years, and with his retirement, is now able to do more involved with the group. He thinks that the organization can provide a voice for the moderate centrist wing of the Republican Party and doesn't currently exist, perhaps ultimately improve the dramatics of Congress. Now, let's read between the lines there. Here's basically what he's saying. He's going to join a super PAC, or at least build it up. And I got big problems with this. Now, Mr. La Tourette, you, of all people, should know better. I mean, you're a centrist Republican. I mean, you want compromise. You're going to join a super PAC for all the brain damage that went on this last election. And that's, and that's not even another story for another day. We all seen it firsthand. Just say, hey, I'm going to join a super PAC. 
You know, the, you know that happened here nationally recently that somebody's leaving the Senate for that. Just say so. I mean, I'll respect you more for that, but don't play the citizens and your consensuous in your district for stupid. Speaking of playing people for stupid is this gentleman right here. His name is Gary Smith. Now, he ran for a position in New Mexico. Now, I'm not going to sit here and rant and rave, at least not yet. Now, station KOB Channel 4 in Albuquerque did an article on this. I'm going to let them tell the tale. Watch this. We've all heard that politics can get nasty, but a case involving two congressional candidates has now gotten downright dangerous. One former candidate is in jail tonight. He's accused of slashing his opponent's tires while caught on camera. Chris Ramirez tracked down the man accused as he was being arrested this afternoon. He has an interview you will see only on four. Chris. And Danielle, this is a bizarre story. Back in April, Janice Arnold Jones, who you see here, took Gary Smith to court. Arnold Jones claimed that her Republican primary challenger didn't have enough petition signatures to get on the ballot to run for Congress. A judge agreed, and after all these months, police wonder if Gary Smith still has a case of political sour grapes. And they stab you in the back repeatedly. Let's repeatedly, take you back repeatedly. to April. They've tried to kick me out of this process. This is Today, Gary Smith after learning the judge feet. threw him off the ballot to run as a Republican in New Mexico Congressional District 1. When you go to your own kind, your own brother, your own sister, and they stab you in the back repeatedly, 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 they've tried to kick me out of this process. And today, they finally succeeded. The ruling paved the way for Janice Arnold Jones to run as the only Republican in the race. Now fast forward to December 20th. Cameras at Janice Arnold Jones's home picked up this. A man taking an ice pick to all of her tires. The man punctures them, then slashes them. APD Detective Lorenzo Garcia says the man in the video is Gary Smith. I looked at uh, Mr. Gary Smith's MVD photo and compared it with the video and it showed that it did appear to be him. And Janice Arnold Jones had a hunch it was Smith as well. This is not politics. This is, you know, Chris, I've been there. I know what it is when there's political retribution. You lose your bills, you lose your office, you lose your parking space. That's none of this. This is um, an assault on private property, on our residents, and it's, I believe, by someone who is not very stable. <laughs> APD arrested Smith, and our cameras were the only ones there as police held him in the back of a police cruiser. Did you slash those tires? I don't even know what's going on right now. They haven't explained anything to me yet. I don't even know why they can Well, according to the arrest warrant, you're being arrested because you were slashing Janice Arnold Jones's tires. Did you do that? No. No, not at all. What if we told you there's video of you? Doing that, would you still say that you're not that you're not the person? Sure. Now, APD says four other people who worked on Janice Arnold Jones's campaign also got their tires slashed. Police will be looking now to see if Gary Smith is the Republican serial tire slasher. Okay, just to refresh your memory on this, Janice Arnold Jones lost to Democrat Michelle Lujan Grisham in that congressional race. Now, Smith does face a felony charge and will be in jail until he can put up a five thousand dollar. Bond. Danielle, back to you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, politics is a real dirty and nasty business, and nobody's questioning that right now. Now, should he done what he'd done? Absolutely not. But it looks really, really, really dumb on what he did if what is stated is true. And I'm actually hoping that it's not true because. Yes, I know a lot worse things were done during this last election cycle, no matter where you lived. And I don't care if it's in this country or whatnot, but we all know that. But come on, man. I mean, it's not as bad as going on in Cuyahoga County right now with the, with the lawyers and prosecutors that got nailed last week on bribing rape victims. And I'll talk about that at another time because that's a really deep story. And everything hasn't come out on that yet. But Mr. Smith... Come on, you know better than that. Now, speaking of miscellaneous political news, big boy of Outcast. Now, ladies and gentlemen, 
if, if you know me personally, I don't I don't listen to modern hip hop, and there a lot of people know that, and I don't even talk about race and politics very often, but I'm gonna talk about this. I'm gonna watch this video from the radio station there, and I'm gonna talk about this. Now here it is. World, you do shows after shows. Mm -hmm. Any ex any experience like that where you had some everyday racism? Just recently, right after election night, mm -hmm. um, no, I had to yep. fly out to uh, San Jose to perform at Apple headquarters. Oh, really? And I was coming through the airport, and this white lady was like, "Congratulations on y'all win last night." <laughs> no. What? No. And, and what? I, and I looked a square in the face and was like, "Bitch, I voted for Gary Johnson." <laughs> you feel me? And she was shocked. This is a true story too. Like, congratulations on y'all win. Like, we just Yo. won the Super Bowl or something. <laughs> Maybe she was referring to the Falcons. That no, she was nah. referring to the Falcons. What did you say? You really said I yeah, voted for I, Gary. Yeah, for sure. I told her I like voted for Gary Johnson. Her eyes got big. I was just like, all right, she was like, thank who is Gary yeah. Johnson? Right. Who is Gary Johnson? Yeah. He was, that was a th it was a th it was another candidates on the ballot. It was like a couple of more. It was Jill Stein, Gary Johnson. He was a Libertarian. Oh, did you really uh, vote for him? I can't confirm nor deny that. <laughs> <laughs> Now, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know why Reason Magazine, who originally brought this article up today, is even talking about this. This is a non-story that happened two months ago, for all intents and purposes. Why even bring this up? He voted for that person, and who cares? I mean, there's a lot of people, including myself, that voted for Gary Johnson, even though I have personal reasons for that. But that's besides the point. Why even talk about this? other than filler space. You know, I just don't get it. I really, really, really don't. And why make hide or hair about this? It's a bunch of smeg that nobody, that nobody really cares about. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you notice I've been pretty fired up on this show today, and I haven't said we'll be right back, and here's a reason for this. I'm trying something new. Do an entire show with no commercials, even though in future shows I will have sponsors, and you know that. And just to see what people think that I can carry a full show, and I have the people's attention span. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for this week. And one, and one other thing, on Facebook today, it was posted about AAA doing doing their free program tonight. Now I found out this is a blatant lie. And I want to thank Rachel Wern for this. It states their own, that AAAs only do it in certain markets. And I'll post the actual link to the article at the bottom of this show. And everybody remember, I always say, be careful and remember fear to root at the end of the show. But being New Year's Eve, everyone go out there and be safe. If you are going to drink, make sure you got a ride meaning designated driver, or you're walking.